the birthplace of arguably Georgia's greatest female player, Athens? No. Buckhead? No. Moultrie, Georgia? Bingo. And Lisa Spain's beginnings in the sport were pretty basic too. Didn't have a lot of instruction. Uh, I believe the legend is, is that she actually taught herself uh, by reading a book. And one year as a 12, 13 year old Lisa Spain came over, she immediately got all of the pros attention as to who was this girl. She ends up playing two out of three games with Armstead Neely, who has about 40 goal balls, and in front of a large crowd as a 12, 13 year old, she beats Armstead Neely two out of three games, and we all knew right then and there that this girl was going to be a champion. Her first coach was a brick wall. Her second was a local pro who charged her a dollar an hour starting out. I think one of the things that uh, impresses me most, of, most about Lisa and her t from a tennis point of view was the fact that she was able to be as good as she was coming from a relatively rural South Georgia background. It was not like she had the advantages of a lot of places where you would go to these academies or you had a multitude of teachers and coaches and clinics and sparring partners. But the fact that she could be that good without having some of the advantages that many others had is just incredible to me. Lisa Spain is still an all-time legend at UGA where she played number one singles and doubles, won the All-America singles title, won the NCAA singles title, and in college was voted the top female athlete in the country regardless of the sport. She was that good. Just an incredible athlete. Uh, I don't know that I've ever been around a, uh, a lady that's as fine an athlete as she is. In fact, I'm not convinced she couldn't play college tennis today. Had a, a world-class forehand. And in fact, I said to her husband Herbert recently, I'd like to get a photograph of, of Lisa hitting a backhand, but in that she never hit many, uh, it, they'd be a pretty scarce commodity to find a photograph of that because she, was, she could just dominate the court with her forehand. She had a brief pro career and took on all comers. Got to the quarterfinals of Wimbledon and played a young lady named Steffi Graf, who was a fairly good player. And uh, as it turns out, had match point on Steffi. Um, Steffi somehow came back and did win the match and went on to win Wimbledon. And that's just how close Lisa came to being a Wimbledon champion. But the pro circuit wasn't for her and she married her college sweetheart and settled down in Atlanta. But to this day, her name is mentioned with a hushed reverence and an appreciation for how great she was. Well, Lisa was clearly one of the best female players of her, of her era. The great thing about her is to this day, she's probably a better person than she was ever a tennis player because she's a great mom to uh, three wonderful children and her husband Herbert, uh, but she's just a, a wonderful gal. The fact that she did it as a female and the encouragement that she gave to all of these uh, young girls throughout the small towns in Georgia uh, was uh, terrific. Lisa Spain Short is a most deserving member of the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.